Hi everyone. So in this video, uh, I'll be explaining the epigrowth algorithm with an example. Uh, so it, this algorithm is basically used to uh, generate the frequent item sets um, from which finally we'll be uh, generating the rules of association, right? So I've taken an example which is a bit complicated and if you understand this, uh, you will be able to uh, like solve any kind of uh, questions which comes with uh, AP growth algorithm okay uh, so all possible actually uh, all, all possible uh, like um, problems or all possible kind of situations will be occurring in this example that is why this example is a very good one I have taken it from the internet and um, it is very very uh, helpful uh, if you uh, follow it right so let's say there are nine different transactions t1 to t9 and these are the items you already know that in transaction one we have one two five other different items which are bought together in transaction say five we have two different items which are bought together one and three right so one two three four five are the different items that were actually transacted right uh, so the first step obviously is to find out the uh, supports right so let's write the uh, items items and their support right so one two three four and five there are five different items you can see in the right hand side right one two three four five are the different items that were bought so what are the supports so one was bought one two three four five six six times in six different transactions one was bought two was bought one two three four five six seven so seven times in seven different transactions the item two was bought three um one two three four five six six times right four one two um i think two times right okay and five i think one two okay five is also two times so you see these are basically the supports right of the different items now what you need to do is you need to write these items in descending order of their supports okay you need to write the items in descending of order of their support how can i write it so i i'll just write it uh, here maybe items and support so i'll just write it like this so two whose support is the highest seven so at the top next is one which is six next is three so one three are having the same uh, supports right so you can choose uh, to place it uh, maybe one three or three one that depends on you but whatever you follow you, you should follow it entirely right you sh it should be um, it should be followed throughout the, your program because if you write a program of a peak growth algorithm so you have to tell the computer you cannot do it arbitrarily right one three one time or three one one time that is not possible so uh, it should be uh, maintained so i am taking the original order if the uh, supports are same so next four which is two five which is two okay so this is descending order of their support now here in this particular original table I will add one column okay that is uh, sorted items okay I'll just write it so here what I need to write is see the original items are bought in the order one to five maybe if I if I think there is an order although these are the items um, which do not follow any order because these are set but still I'll be creating an order creating an order um manually okay I, i'll force an order so one two five i'll just write it as two one five okay this is useful this will be used while generating the ap growth uh, tree ap tree so why did i write two one five because two has the highest support followed by one followed by five that's why two one five likewise this two four will be same right two has the highest support followed by four two three will be same one two four will be two one four right because two has the highest support next followed by one followed by four one three so one three yeah it will be one three next you have two three it will be two three uh next one three one three one two three five so it will be two one three five right 
and one two three will be two one three so just in the sorted order of their support you write it okay done the next task of us is to find or is to draw the ep tree okay let's do it in a new page so always draw the root of the ep tree with a null node okay so this is basically the ep tree okay so root of the tree will be null okay now see from this table so first two is bought then one then five okay two one five actually two is not bought uh, first uh, but here i'm just following an order so two one five so what i will draw here is i'll draw a node with two inside it okay and make it count as one now what is this one because i am using two or i'm seeing two for the first time i am writing it as one you will understand it uh, shortly why uh, how this one will get updated okay now just i'm writing two so two after two one is present followed by five so i'll just write one followed by five and all the counts will be initialized to one because i'm seeing two for the first time one for the first time five for the first time so all the counts will be initially one okay whenever i whenever i create a node for the first time i'll just make its count as one that's it it's as simple as that and this order you understand right so two one five directly connected to null okay now what is the next step okay i think i have gone to the another one um okay where did i start writing okay so it's middle of the pages okay fine so you see next is you see what is the next transaction it is two four so what i will do is i'll check from null is there any node with two that is connected to null because i have two four right because i have two four so two should be at the top followed by four now can i see any two that is connected to null yes there is a node called two which is connected to null directly so i'll use this path so how will i use this path i'll increment this count to two i'll increment this count by one okay so i'm using this two next i have oh, sorry next i have four right two four so is there anything called as four that is connected to two till now no so i'll create a node called four and make its count as one because i'm seeing four for the first time next we have two and three so is there anything called two connected to the root node yes so i'll just use it and make it as three is there anything called three no so i'll just create a new node three and make its count as one let me write it yeah what is the next one it is two one four so is there a two connected to null yes so i'll just use it so for two one four right what was the question uh, what was it two one four yeah so is there one connected to two directly yes so i'll use it so increment it now is there a four the next is four right two one four four so is there a four connected to one you may say four is present here no four here is connected to two okay so i cannot use that i i should have a path which goes from one to four like this and make it as one so now the path is two one four you should understand this here i got two one four right so from the from the null from the root node so we should have a path two one four we cannot use this four here because it is connected to two it is not connected to one directly okay what is the next one it is one three so let's say okay there is no one directly connected to null yes one is present here but one is not connected to null so i'll have to create a new node one done next uh, one three right so one followed by three 
done next is two three so okay two three do i have a two three yes so two is present so i'll use it and three is connected to two so i'll reuse it okay what is next we have one three so see one three is already present one three is already present so i'll just reuse this path so i'll increment the counts next is two one three five so is there a path to two yes so i'll use this two one yes one is also present so i'll use this three no no three is present so i'll create a new one two one three and five you may say i have three i have five already but no it is not creating a path directly that is why i have to create a new node only if there is something all a path already available i use that increasing the count but if it's not present i'll have to create the new nodes so likewise i have created two one three five see direct directly from from the root two one three five done next is two one three is there a path two one three yes see two one three done okay so this is i think everything is complete yes so this is the ap tree which is generated from uh, from the question okay now using this ap tree i will be creating a table which will be actually having the frequent items okay so uh, i'll just split this video uh, maybe in the in the next video i'll be uh, showing you the table but for now you i hope you understood how the ap tree is generated right and it is very easy i think so see you in the next video i'll be generating the uh, frequent item sets there okay thank you